Hi, it's Janie. Welcome back to my channel. And today I have a Ulta haul. <laughs> and I have a Mac haul for you today. Um, yeah, I sound a whole lot better than I did in the last video. At least now I can talk. Um, which my husband may not be um, as excited about. But anyway. <laughs> anyway, um, the only thing is I have this darn tickle that I get in my throat about four o'clock in the morning that I can't get rid of. So I have to get up and go out in the office or the kitchen and just like cough and cough and cough and cough. It's crazy. But anyway, much, much better. So thank you to everyone for um, this darn strap from this camisole. But anyway, thank you everyone for um, thinking of me and telling me you know, well wishes and hoping I get to feeling better. But yes. Definitely on the mend. Now if I can just get rid of the, the tickle in my throat. So anyway, I think I'm going to start with the products from MAC really quick. I haven't got anything from the MAC counter in, gosh, ages. I mean, like ages and ages and ages. And the only reason why, um, only, the only reason why I even stopped at the MAC counter is my daughter and I um, actually got to go out for a girl's day. Um, Gosh, it's probably been like three weeks ago, three Sundays ago. We haven't got to do that in forever. And I have been saving my back to Mac for when we got to go because I had enough for each of us to get to pick a lipstick. And, you know, I wanted her to be able to go with me to do that, you know, so we could both go and do that. So that was the reason why I wanted to stop at the Mac counter. And then they were doing, they had some products that were, um, 40% off. I guess they're doing away with them. Anyway, but first I'll talk about the lipstick that I chose. I do have it on and it's a new formula that they have, I guess. I guess it's a new formula, but it's the Powder Kiss lipstick. It's a um, matte lipstick, but it's supposed to be like um, very comfortable to wear. Um, a little bit moisturizing, so it's not as drying as their normal uh, matte lipsticks. And this is called Work, 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 Work It, Work It. Yeah, <laughs> that's what it's called. <laughs> anyway, and that is it right there. It's just a really pretty red. <laughs> and then, of course, my daughter, being her, she got a really nice, um, pretty neutral color. That looks really pretty on her. She, she doesn't do red. <laughs> she did not get her mother's love of red lipsticks, for, for sure. She's, she's a neutral girl through and through and so one of the other products that I purchased while I was there was a eyebrow powder it's called great brows I should have left these on in the color da -da 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 -da. in the color tapered and when I looked at it I thought this would make like just a really really pretty eyeshadow palette that's what I was thinking um, when I got it was I just thought this would be really really pretty as an eyeshadow palette and because this is just a really pretty shimmer shade and then you got a brown right there and then this color right here which is kind of a reddish brown but I have actually Bearing, wearing this color right here, this reddish brown color in my brows. So I have actually been liking that color in my brows and I have been actually enjoying using the little tool that came with it. It has this little brush which to me is just perfect for getting in right there and just kind of putting a little bit of that powder into my eyebrows and I have actually been liking this little spoolie that is with it if I can get it out right there that little spoolie let me get it out let me show you it's just a little bitty spoolie just a little little bitty but I think it's perfect for my brows and I just been have enjoying using that so I thought that was a really good find and I just recently seen this at the um, my husband and I just celebrated our anniversary um, 31 years of marriage whoop whoop and um, we went to Branson, and I went to the CCO, which um, pat myself on the back. I did not buy anything. I did not buy anything at the 
CCO, but anyway, they had these there. So if you see that at the CCO, but anyway, I just thought that would be a really pretty eyeshadow palette. And I ended up actually liking it for what it is for in my brows, that, that reddish color. And then the other thing that they had that I purchased that was 40% off was the MAC build and something, no, not build. <laughs> it's not build, no. It's Bold and Bad Lash Mascara. In Bold Bad Black is the color. And this is what it looks like. I was very intrigued with this because, and I'm going to, I start say I don't want to open it, but I'm going to open it because I want to use it. Because on this end, it's got a little bitty wand that you can use this end for your bottom lashes. And then on the other end, of course, then is for your regular lashes. I mean, how cool is that? So I don't know. I'm thinking now, of course, I'm going to find something that I really, really like that is going to be discontinued now. <laughs> But anyway, so I got that. I haven't tried it yet because I just not opened it, but going to be giving that a whirl. And then also on that little 40% off table that they had was the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish Powder in the color Warm Rose. And I haven't used this. It's been sitting in that bag. Why do we do that? have stuff sitting in the bag waiting for me to show it to you before I use it. I should be, have used it already so that you can see it or know it, know about it. Anyway, it just has a really pretty soft kind of pink tone to it, pink cast. I just thought that would be a really pretty finishing powder or a setting powder. So that's pretty much all it is, is a setting powder and it has a little bit of a sheen to it. Yeah, it's got some glitters in it. I see that now, but it's got some glitters in it. You can see that. You can see that sheen, can't you? Anyway, so that's what I got at the MAC counter, but while I'm talking about MAC, I'm going to go ahead and put this guy in because I did get this at Ulta, and um, it's the Brow Sculpt Brow Pencil, and I got a little duped on this, and this is in the color Lingering. Um, it was on a little kiosk thing where they said, you know, it's going to be 40% off, and it was marked 1320. So I thought it was going to be 40% off that 1320. I thought, okay, that's that's a good deal. Well, no, this 1320 was the 40% off price. So anyway, so this is it right here, and I have been using it. Um, it's okay. Um, I don't like it. And matter of fact, I can really see it here that it has pulled out some of my brow hairs. And um, those brow hairs that I have are very precious because I don't have that many. And this little thing right here, it's almost like it gets hard pan and it really kind of tugs. It doesn't glide on very smooth because of that. See. Okay, let's see if I can do this on camera. As you can see, I am pushing like, there we go, finally. I finally got a swatch, and I had to push pretty hard to get a swatch on my hand of that. That's what I'm talking about, where it kind of gets like it gets hard pan on there. And so when I'm trying to do my brows, then it really starts to tug and pull at the brows and starts pulling those hairs out, and I don't like that. But I'm gonna keep using it, because I bought it. I actually bought Ooh, sorry, I actually bought two, but I didn't use the other one. And when I realized that I actually paid $13 and some change for them, I took the other one back. But I, I had already started using this one, so I kept it. But once it's gone, it's going to go in my back to Mac pile. Start that up again. But um, I, I don't recommend those at all because for that fact, Especially if you're like me and you don't have that many brow hairs to begin with, you definitely don't want to be pulling those suckers out. So, anyway, okay. So, we're going to go on to um, Ulta. I got some of the L'Oreal Voluminous um, Primer Base, just another repurchase. If you would have seen my empties video, um, you know that I go through that. And it was a repurchase. What more can I say? I like it. 
And then for Maybelline, I hadn't had this in a while, but I got the Eraser Dart Circles Age Rewind. And I got the color 100. And I guess this is a new color. And it's supposed to be a lighter color. But I didn't realize that it kind of has a little bit of a yellow tint to it, I think. So, and I wanted the pink tint. I haven't, I've used it a little bit, but I haven't, I haven't used it a lot. Because I don't like the yellow undertone to it. See, it's got a yellow undertone. And I don't like that. So anyway, there we go. But I did buy one of those. I should have got the 110 instead of the 100. Pull that out. And then for a makeup revolution, I got the cut crease canvas. Um, let's see what this, what the official name is of this. What is the official name of this? Whew. I thought there for a minute I hadn't pushed record. I was like, man. Applicator, it's the cut crease canvas. That's just what it's called. Cut crease canvas. Anyway, it looks like this here. And what I've been using this for, I'm not doing a cut crease. I'm not that fancy. I have been using this just as an all over lid um, eyeshadow primer is what I've been using this for. And it's just white. I got the white one. Is there a color to this? It's called Halo White. And that's what I've been using. I don't know how anybody could do a cut crease with this because that is huge, that little applicator there that is huge and it takes just a little bit i mean a little bit on this boy my hair keeps getting in my eyelashes but anyway i'm gonna see that right there see that little dot right there that's all i need to do my my eyelid and that's probably too much to do my eyelid so i don't know how you would use that big o applicator to do a cut crease because in a cut crease where you're just wanting to get like a a really thin line right there i i don't know i mean because look how that spreads out so i couldn't imagine trying to do a cut crease with that i i don't get it Anyway, I've just been using it, like I said, just as an all-over um, eyeshadow primer because I was wanting something that was really a light color like that that was really going to cancel out all of that miscoloration that I have on my eyelids. I call my eyelids like tea stained. And um, so far, I think it works pretty good. And I think it helps with the eyeshadow. So anyway, I did get that. And this little tube, this little bottle right here is going to this is going to go bad. This is probably going to dry out before I even get anywhere near the end of it. Okay. And then from e.l.f. I did get a eyebrow pencil, which you're not going to be able to see that because of the light. There we go. You can see a little bit there. But I did get an eyebrow pencil, another one. And this is the um, Instant Lift Brow Pencil in the color. Ooh, that's little. That is little in the color blonde. I got it in blonde because the brown that I had or the taupe was way too dark. I mean, way too dark. So I'm hoping that this blonde will be um, the color that I need, especially when I put powders on it, which I think that will be. Because that's almost the same color as what that MAC was, right? So I did get that, and this is only $2, where that MAC was $13, so there you go. And it's got a spoolie, but I don't like that spoolie. I mean, that's really big. That's huge. That's really big, but it is soft, though. It's really soft. Oh, this hair. I had someone make a comment on one of my videos. Kind of, I laughed at it. I thought it was kind of funny, but the comment was that she has really pretty eyes and unusual hair. <laughs> I thought, yeah, I do have unusual hair. <laughs> yeah, it's, it has a mind of its own hair. <laughs> That's the kind of hair I have. 
And then the next thing I have is I got for Morphe, I got a new eyeshadow palette for Morphe. I haven't cracked into this because I want to do a get ready with me with this. Yeah, I'm going to try one of those again and see how that goes. But um, this is the new one. It's the 35H. It's the hot spot. And my daughter got it first, and I wasn't going to get it. I thought, no, I'm not going to get it. I'm not going to get it. I'm not going to get it. And instead, I bought a MAC eyeshadow palette. And I ended up not liking that, and I took it back. And I ended up getting this instead. Yeah. But anyway... So this is what it looks like. Have you seen, have y'all seen this yet? I guess it's new. And I don't know if I've even seen anybody talk about this yet, but it looks like this here. Look at all the colors, very unique. And I mean, it's like it's two palettes actually, cause you de definitely have, you know, your blues here on this side and then your pinks on this side. So, and I don't know if you would really intermix the two sides. Would, would you guys, would you, would you intermix those two sides together? I don't know. I might. But anyway, so that, I did get this. And I haven't even, like, swatched it or anything because I want to I wanna do a, a get ready with me. So I'm not going to do anything with it just yet. So... So I got that. I'm going to give it a try. I asked my daughter if she was liking her, her Morphe palette. She's like, well, I haven't used it yet, but my daughter likes it. I'm like, Addie, which is the nine-year-old, she's like, no, Alice, she's 30. <laughs> she's been having to do her makeup for her, and been, she's been wanting that palette put on her eyes. And the other day, it was so funny, she sent me a picture of her. And she was sitting on the floor. She had her arms crossed like this. It was just doing like a mean look. And I was like, what is wrong with her? She's like, she doesn't like the way I did her makeup. <laughs> and she was wanting it redone. <laughs> she didn't like her eye look. She didn't like the way she did it. <laughs> She's three. <laughs> so funny. I had to crack up. Anyway, so my voice is starting to crack. You hear that? It's starting to crack. So if you've been into Ulta here lately, you've noticed, or at least maybe I have, um, Laura Geller, I guess, is not going to be sold at Ulta anymore. And yes, I've, I have fallen down the Laura Geller rabbit hole <laughs> once again, once again. Um, if you've been watching my videos here lately, I've been buying some Laura Geller eyeshadow palettes from TJ Maxx. Then I got one from Ulta. And they're very, very hit or miss. Very hit or miss. Anyway. <laughs> I bought another one. Yes. I bought another eyeshadow palette. There were 75%. All the Laura Geller stuff was 75% off. Because I'm, I'm assuming they're not going to carry Laura Geller at Ulta anymore. Anyway, this is the iconic New York, New York collection, the Uptown Chic. Chic up eyeshadows. 12 well palette anyway I, I don't have it on today usually I try to wear one of my eyeshadows that I have in my hauls but I've tried working with this um, there's no color payoff with this whatsoever um, if you get this or you see it like at TJ Maxx and you've fallen into the Laura Geller rabbit hole like I have you're going to have to use some Fix Plus with this. Or you're not going to get any color payoff whatsoever. And you're going to work 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 to try and get these colors to build up. Because um, they are just very, 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 very faint. <laughs> there is no pigmentation. I mean, they swatch pretty. I mean, the swatches are really pretty, but when you go to part, start putting these onto your eyes, your eyelids, mm, you, just, you just can't get nothing on there. I mean, it's just, you just build and build and build and build and build and build, and there's just nothing there. I mean, that's this color here, which is one of the darkest shades in the palette, which is 
this one right here, this one. That's like four times over that to get that to look like that. And that's a swatch on my hand. We all know how hand swatches are different than actually going on the eyes. So that was a disappointment. Now granted it was 75% off. I didn't pay a whole lot of money for it, but still. And you know, I know, I know not to do that. But I did it anyway. So anyway, I have that. That will sit in my collection until the end of time. But anyway, that's okay. Now these other things I got, I like, I've used, and I knew that I would be okay with getting these. One is a, a blush. Yeah, the Baked Blush in Brighton. And this is in the color Peach Delight. this color right there very very pretty almost hate to swatching these but I know that on um, QVC Laura Geller is still being sold and maybe even at other retailers Laura Geller could possibly still be being sold just not at um, Ulta but that just has a really pretty pinky sheen to it you wouldn't have to have a highlighter with that it's just really pretty and that's that's the only one I got because that's the only one that was left. <laughs> Most of the stuff was sold out. So, and then I did get um, some of the um, the balance and the Bait Balance and Brighten foundation powders. Yes, I got one in um, porcelain, porcelain, one in light, and. Then I also got the Baked Balance in, oh, here's another Brighton. This one is in Fair. So I got it like a combination of some of the different colors because I can mix and match. The one I have on right now is the Baked Balance in Glow. So I got some of the Glow ones. This is what it looks like. It's just her traditional um, powder foundation. I like to use them just kind of set all over the face and I got some of the um, the regular ones and then I guess some of the the ba balance and glow I didn't even know she had any of that word glow my voice is really getting ready to to go <clears throat> but it's the the balance and glow is an illuminating foundation illuminating foundation to decide I guess I only got two colors of the balance and glow one is in fair and the other one is in porcelain and I want to show you yeah I want to show you the difference in color tone between these two <laughs> Let me blow this off this one's fair this one's in the color fair and I know it's kind of washed out from the lights but you're, you'll see the difference this one's in porcelain the next shade up is fair. And this is what fair looks like. Can you see the difference in that? How much darker one is than the other? <laughs> I'm like, oh my stars. So I definitely will have to um, mix these two. Definitely so. So that's why I got a an array of um, colors because yeah. What? Wait. Oh, this is a. Oh, man. This is a bait bronze and brighten and fair. I didn't realize this was a bronzer. But anyway, I got a bronzer. I didn't realize that. I thought it was the foundation. Okie dokie pokies. So I got the bronzer. That's okay. So now I have a new bronzer to play with. <laughs> Everything was, was kind of all jumbled up. It had been all picked over and ransacked. But there's the bronzer. Ooh, that's pretty. That's a pretty bronzer. It's got a little bit of a pink into it. And it's not too dark. Ooh, that's pretty. Hey, score one for me. I actually like that. <laughs> 
So then I just got two of the foundations in the regular. One is in light and one is in porcelain. So they were sold out of fair. That's what it was. They were sold out of fair. And I went to two different Ulta's to try and find fair, but they were sold out in both places. That's what it was. But they had it in the glow in both colors. I want to see what the difference, how much darker one is from the other. I like this porcelain one right here. It's got a lot of pink in the veining. You're not going to be able to see that. But there's a lot of pink in this veining of this porcelain, which is good because I have a lot of pink undertone. And then here is light, which is not too much darker than this porcelain. Not like the, the glow was. The difference between those two and the glow. So even the glow, see the glow? was just one shade darker than the porcelain, where in the regular, the light is two shades darker than the porcelain. And this one is even lighter than that one. See? Anyway, so I'm glad I got a whole bunch of different shades to play with. I can definitely mix them all up and get it all to work and then put this bronzer on there and then put this blush and I'm good to go and scrap the um, eyeshadow palette but I got that Morphe eyeshadow palette to use so anyway <laughs> so you'll be seeing all of these in action during that get ready with me which will be next week sometime um, hopefully my voice will be back to normal and all of this stuff out of my chest will be completely gone by then hopefully anyway thank you so much for joining me today i hope that you enjoyed and i'll talk to you soon bye